Lola is a waitress on a giant cruise liner. One night, after the restaurant closed, she found an expensive watch on the floor. She announced it on the cruiser's radio, and three people showed up to claim it. Roger showed Lola the tan line on his wrist and asked her to give him the watch back. Mary said she remembered dropping the watch near the entrance of the restaurant and wants it back. Susie kept asking if the watch was okay and if it was working. Lola decided that the watch belonged to Susie. Why? You've got 10 seconds. Roger's tan line on his wrist is too small compared to the watch Lola found. And if Mary remembered where she dropped the watch, why didn't she pick it up? Susie knows how expensive her watch is, and she was worried it broke. Jenna and Michael were out partying on Halloween night. Michael told Jenna she wouldn't dare to go to a 120-year-old abandoned castle on the other side of town. Rumor had it that a mad scientist used to live there. Without a second thought, Jenna started walking. She reached the house at 3 a.m. and the door was open. When she walked in, the crazy scientist showed up and told her, I've got a riddle for you. If you answer it correctly, you're free to go. If not, I get to do my scientific experiments on you. A sphere has three, a circle has two, and a point has zero. What is it? You've got nine seconds to find out. Dimensions. <laughs> Michael left his work and walked into the dark parking lot in the basement to get his car. When he approached his vehicle, he saw a four-pin lock on his door. He kept looking at it when his boss showed up. He told Michael, I want to see if you're smart enough to get a promotion. You only get one try. If you figure the code, tomorrow you'll move to the executive's office. His boss gave Michael a piece of paper that read, Which was the latest passing year that was the same upside down? Michael started thinking of all the years that passed, and the next day, he got the promotion. You have 8 seconds. Think fast! It's 1961. Susie arrived at the dance studio for her rehearsal when she found her instructor unconscious on the floor. Next to him, there was a broken vase. Someone must have hit him on the head. Susie called Detective Allen at the scene, and he was suspecting three people who entered the studio that day. William, another instructor, said he had an emergency private class with a celebrity and left before anyone showed up at the studio. Mason, a professional dancer, said he took the week off and dropped by today to give the keys back to the dance instructor because he forgot them in his bag when he left the day before. Sally, a dancer, said she had class today, but when she showed up, she didn't see anyone through the window and assumed the studio was closed. Detective Allen knew exactly who was lying. You've got 7 seconds. It was Sally. Her fingers are covered in bandages and cuts. They must have happened when she broke the vase. Lucy was walking back home from the restaurant. She was talking on the phone to her sister and took a shortcut through a creepy park. Suddenly, someone came behind her and snatched her handbag from her shoulder. She tried to chase them, but it was too dark. She only saw a figure going into the cinema. Lucy followed them there, and when she went in, she only saw three girls standing there and questioned them. The first girl said she just got there, and she's waiting for her friend to arrive. She said she's holding a big bag to sneak some food into the theater. The second girl said she missed the movie because she has a broken leg, and it took her a while to get all the way to the cinema, so she's waiting for the next viewing. The third girl said she came back from her friend's house and wanted to see what movies are playing. Lucy took a good look at them and knew exactly who was lying. 
You've got 6 seconds. It was the girl with the broken leg. Her left leg is broken, and instead of holding the crutch on the left to support her weight, she has it on the right side. Alex was at the park, snapping photos of trees and flowers for a photography competition. When he finished, he placed his camera on the bench and tried to disassemble his equipment to head back to his car. Suddenly, he heard someone running, and his camera was gone. He saw the person going inside a blue car. Alex got the rest of his stuff and followed the robber. He then saw the car parked outside a restaurant. He walked in and saw three people sitting down. Can you guess which of them is the robber? You have 5 seconds. It's the one on the right looking at the menu. The others are eating. They've been there for a while. Sarah and Michelle went to explore an abandoned castle. When they walked in, the door shut behind them and the lights went on. In front of them, three doors appeared. They must pick the right one to make it out alive. Behind the first door, there's a hungry crocodile that hasn't eaten in two and a half years. Behind the second door, there's lava from a volcano that erupted two weeks ago. And behind the third door, there's a massive seawater pool with a whale shark you must swim through. You have four seconds to decide. Crocodiles can go without food for three years, and lava can remain hot when it's well insulated for months. The best option is the whale shark. Even though it's a shark, we humans are indifferent to them. Tori was the lead actress in a movie. They were filming on a deserted island to make sure nobody was around to interrupt the scenes. The day before the shooting, Tori was found unconscious in her room and the crew member called Detective Martin on the case. He interviewed four suspects. The producer said he'd be scouting the island to find a new location with a lake, and he didn't talk to anyone all day. The writer said he'd been making some adjustments to the scripts in his trailer. The camera operator said he was testing his filming equipment when a stranger approached him for directions. He ran off to help them. The director was sitting on the beach, writing down notes about small details he wanted to add to the movie. Detective Martin figured it out in three seconds. Can you? It was the camera operator. Hey, this was a deserted island. Nobody was there needing help. Anna is a vegetarian restaurant owner. The day she opened the new restaurant, she invited her family to celebrate. Her sister came first, but found Anna unconscious on her office floor. She immediately called the police, and they questioned everyone that entered Anna's restaurant that day. The electrician said he came in for some final checks to make sure everything works. The cleaner said he came in for his shift, but Anna was okay before he left. The chef said he had been sharpening his knives for the meat carvery station. The police arrested the chef. Why? Here are your three seconds. This was a vegetarian restaurant. There's no meat carvery station. Jenny, a famous singer, went abroad for her first concert. She checked into a hotel and went to perform for her next show. When she returned to her room, she realized all her jewelry was gone, and she called the police. Detectives checked the cameras and saw that nobody left the hotel that night. The person who took them was still inside. There were only three people at the hotel. Michael said he couldn't sleep and spent the entire night in the lounge reading. Jason, the manager, said he spent the night in the back office watching TV because it was quiet. Margaret said she went to the hotel's pool to swim alone. The police knew who was lying. You've got two seconds. It's Margaret. Hotel pools are closed at night for maintenance. Jason and his wife are millionaires. They have three sons and two daughters. All kids were going on a camping trip together, and the couple will have the weekend for themselves to relax. When they woke up the next day, all their money was taken from their safe, and they called the police. 
when the officers showed up, they interviewed the three people who were in the house that morning. The butler said he was cleaning the car after driving the kids to the camping site. The chef said he was busy preparing a huge breakfast for the family. The cleaner said he finished cleaning quickly that day and left early. The police figured out who was lying in one second. Can you? It was the chef. Since the kids were gone, he couldn't have been cooking breakfast for the family. 